you know, you're not here to solve a mystery. That is one of the messages an attorney for George Wagner IV had for potential jurors today. The lead prosecutor, meanwhile, spent some time talking about popular crime dramas, uh, saying this case is not like one of those shows and that it won't be put to bed in one hour's time. It's been really difficult for Pike County. People who live in and around Waverly, like Fern Bowen, are bracing for the spotlight their community will be under for the next six to eight weeks. That's how long the trial could last for George Wagner IV. He, along with his brother Jake and their parents, Billy and Angela Wagner, were arrested four years ago and charged with murdering eight members of the Roden family in the middle of the night. Investigators have said the motive was a custody dispute involving a child. You know, you don't murder people for that. They ain't one thing that God would want you to do. Outside the courthouse, people have strong opinions about what's come to be called the Pike County Massacre. But inside the courthouse, prosecutors and defense attorneys spent today making a point to a jury pool that's been whittled down to 70 people that what matters are facts, evidence, and the presumption of innocence. Now, it's possible that a jury will be seated at some time tomorrow. One focal point for attorneys has been exploring connections that potential jurors have with a witness list that's more than 260 people long. It includes members of both the Wagner and Roden families, along with nearly 100 agents with the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News.